All right. So quick surprise live stream here. Um, we'll be doing a lot more on this issue, but I just wanted to bring this out really quickly here. I'm gonna play some of this video. Um, it's pretty incredible. Uh, so I'll wait to see if maybe a few people tune in here to this. Of course, most of you will have to watch this afterwards because I did not schedule this one. But um, okay, a couple people there. Uh, so we're going to get into this. This is 100% proof that the news media scripts their plans. If you haven't heard about this, um, it's pretty incredible. Let's play this real quick here. Emergency alarms and bells will go off. TV and radio stations will cut their programs. The stock exchange will close. Sporting events will be scrapped. News readers will dress in black. RAF will be grounded. Parliament will be hastily reconvened. People will go home. The whole country will come to a halt. It will feel no less than a national emergency. And this all will begin with a single code phrase. London Bridge is down. It's been 66 years. Okay, so they're planning already to do this whole thing. Think about that. So let's continue. Years since the death of a monarch in Britain and accession of a new one. King George VI died in 1952, making Queen Elizabeth II the new queen, and she has been holding the throne since then. At the age of 92, she is not only the longest reigning monarch in the history of Britain, but also the most loved one as well. Three of the last four prime ministers were born after she came to the throne, and most of the living world's population has only seen one queen on the throne for all of their life, which makes her absence an unimaginable thought. As the law of nature dictates, her reign must end with her unfortunate demise sometime in the future, and when this happens, this will mark as the biggest event of the 21st century. Britain will lose We'll say about that when the Lord comes back for his bride. We'll say about that. <laughs> it's not going to be the biggest event. But just to show you, again, like I said, this thing's being planned for years in, in advance. But watch how detailed this thing gets. Use the last living link with its former greatness, and the country will use this occasion to revisit its glory once again. The Royal Palace has been preparing for this day since the 1960s under the code name of Operation London Bridge. And <laughs> okay, uh, the greatness of the British Empire, by the way, came from the King James Bible. That's what it came from. So, yes, uh, England was, you know, they, they used to say that the sun never sits on, sets on the British Empire. Well, that was true because Britain owned so much land and had conquered so many different countries. Um, <clears throat> England was certainly one of the greatest nations that ever existed. But to the British brethren out there, you know what it is now. But they've been planning it since the 1960s. But let's continue. And there have been meetings several times a year behind closed doors to refine the details. The particulars of this grandest plan had remained a closely kept secret until Sam Knight, a journalist for the Guardian newspaper, interviewed dozens of people involved with a promise of confidentiality. Everything down to the last minute is carefully planned to give Queen Elizabeth a farewell, the kind of which the world has never seen, and most probably will never see again. So watch till the end of the video, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Secret protocol when the Queen dies, yeah, get a hold of that one. In her final hours, the Queen will be with her family and a team of doctors led by the Queen's senior doctor, Professor Hugh Thomas. He'll constantly monitor her health and also consider what information should be made public. People will be notified about the Queen's health at a regular interval until the last bulletin, which may read something like this. King's life is moving peacefully towards its close. As it happened in the case of George V. George V's doctor then injected him with 750 milligrams of morphine and a gram of cocaine, enough to kill him twice over. <laughs> uh, so they killed the former king? Boy, there's a good position to be in. Hey, we need immediate distraction. It's time to kill you. Isn't that nice? Overdosed on drugs. 
morphine, which is basically a chemically slightly altered form of heroin, and uh, cocaine. You know, just trying to inject it into you enough to kill him twice over. Oh, he's dead. Oh, hey, let's have a big funeral. <laughs> uh, boy, wouldn't it be nice to be part of the British royal family? I don't think so. They're waiting for to, I mean, she could die before they would eventually, you know, need it for immediate distraction, but just unreal, you know, going to kill her when the time comes like they did to the king. Let's continue. Primarily to ease the monarch's suffering and give him a peaceful, quick death in time for printing presses of the times, which rolled at midnight. It's expected just in time for the printing presses. <laughs> unreal. Expected the queen's doctor will do the same. The moment the queen closes her eyes, Charles will be the new king. The first official to get the news of the queen's demise will be the queen's private secretary, Edward Young. He will then pass on the information via a secure phone line to the Prime Minister, Theresa May. The demise... She's not the Prime Minister anymore, but you know, it's an older video. ...of George VI was conveyed in a code word, Hyde Park Corner, to prevent switchboard operators from finding out. The civil servants are expected to use the code word, London Bridges Down, to convey the message. The Foreign Office's Global Response Center, based at a secret location in London, will communicate the news to the 15 governments outside the UK where the Queen is also the head of state, and the 36 other nations of the Commonwealth for whom she has served as a symbolic figurehead. The Governor's Generals, Ambassadors, Prime Ministers, and other important people in the country, as well as those abroad, will be informed first through secure lines, and it may take anywhere from some minutes to a few hours before the news is made public and the rest of the world come to know about the demise of their beloved queen. If you haven't gotten a hold of this thing yet, uh, the New World Order is already here. It's been here for quite some time. Uh, it's controlled by the Vatican. All the Catholic papal knighthoods and everything else, and all the little puppet heads that they put out there and everything else, the Queen being one of their favorite ones. That's why when the Pope came to uh, the UK years ago, um, I know some of the brethren were putting out videos of they lowered the British flag and they raised the Vatican flag, showing who's really in control. So don't watch mainstream media and believe it. Good night. Let's continue a little bit more. We won't play the whole thing, but just wanted to show some of this. The Press Association News Agency and all other global newswire services will be informed simultaneously. As a formal announcement, a footman in morning clothes will emerge and post a black-edged notice to the gates of Buckingham Palace detailing a 10-day mourning period that will commence. At the same time, the palace website will be transformed into a single page showing the same notice on a dark background. At BBC, a Cold War era alert system called RATS, short for Radio Alert Transmission System, will be activated. Reporters and anchors have been rehearsing the death of the Queen for over 30 years, substituting the name Mrs. Robinson. They've been rehearsing it for over 30 years. Okay. Uh... <laughs> That's as far as we're going to go in this. You can watch the rest of the video. I'll put the link in the description box. But it just, yeah, really weird. Yeah, Weirdsville, yeah. Very strange. Extremely strange. I mean, just saw that video not too long ago, and I've been wanting to just do a video on it. Um, you know, unreal, this whole thing here of uh, the queen dying and whatever else. Just so um there you go with your news media out there um all the we had the whole thing go on there you know last two years the uh, health crisis you know and um all it was just we're reporting on it and think it was all staged it was all planned um now let me just say this to the brethren out there say brothers and sisters in christ what do you think that they have planned for when the catching up happens if they're going into this much detail to cover up for when the queen dies, what's it going to be like when the body of Christ leaves? Uh, don't tell me if they don't know about it. Now, they don't know the exact timing. They just like they don't know the exact timing of the queen dying. But when the body of Christ leaves, 
they'll cover it just fine. Don't worry. Uh, God will send strong delusion, and these people will be the ones that help to carry it out. So just wanted to do a real quick video there, and um, just absolutely insane. Just saw that, and I thought, wow, I can't believe that. So if you want to watch the rest of it, and to get into even more detail about all the different funeral things and all the other stuff that they're going to do, it's just insane uh, the way that this world, the deception of this world, you know, in whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. You know, Second Corinthians 4, 4, talking about the devil being the God of this world. He's blinded people's minds. And right, right there is how he does it. So um, just got done recording a couple of other sermons uh, and um, be bringing out some of those here as time goes by. A good one coming up for Sunday morning on um, uh, when God forgets. Very important study. And uh, so please keep us in your prayers and we will see everybody in the next video. Thank you for watching.